Hello, and this is yet another one of where I'm going through my records. So I've got a whole bunch of seven inches on the floor, just, oh yes, all these seven inches all over the floor. No, I actually do properly look after my seven inches. This is with the carpenters, uh, Karen Carpenter, Richard Carpenter, so that kind of carpenter. And I could do all sorts of jokes about reality shows and the block and hopefully Scott Cam won't get a hold of them and stuff like that, but I couldn't be bothered. The, these are all Australian releases, by the way. Um, so you've got the Close To You EP. It's really funny how, looking at this, it's, it's backward. So it's... Um, Shretabrak. Shretabrak. Oh, oh dear. Sounds like something you'd put your dishes on, doesn't it? And now there's the We've Only Just Begun EP. Oh, does that cover look familiar? According to Richard, the, the, the suit didn't fit, so he had to be kind of pinned into it. And the, they had to climb down to the by that beach, and it was really cold and quite horrible. And that's why the smiles look more forced than usual with them. Tres Moody, hey. It's hard to tell from that whether it's an actual artistic piece or it's a picture. Well, it is, it's a picture because it's on the front cover or something. Now, this is one that I picked up. This one. This comes from... It's Ode. So obviously, judging from that, as you can see, that's, that, that's one from overseas. Uh, it's got Karen wearing this awful watermelon-coloured velvet dress. Richard wearing his best see-through top. Promo copy to Ticket to Ride in Australia. That's the, the red thing there. Shows that uh, it's the promo copy. That would be where they'd be thrown out to radio stations. Here, have this, play it. And the disc jockey sort of like, oh, do we have to? And here is picture sleeve to close to you, or they long to be close to you. Oh, this is German. Man name einer pine jazz, einer fragmented rock, einer schlucken cocktail party music, mich in tischtig and Wurzer in nine einem Aschenflickenflagen arrangement. So, can you tell I can't read this? <laughs> and probably seriously insulted a whole bunch of German. Not only by mispronouncing him, but daring to mispronounce him. Kerr in Gruppi Cindy Gerstwitter, Richard and Karen Carpenter. Richard War Jasberg, jazz, jazz pianist in nightclubs and Grindenton. Nettered and dear bands, Bivo is Oh my god, I'm making it sound French now, aren't I? And this is a German copy of We've Only Just Begun, which has the same blurb on the back. Karen Dugrip, yeah, all right, I've been through all that. The US pressing of Merry Christmas, Darling. Uh, with the, obviously they didn't autograph every single one of them. Would have been kind of nice though. Sort of have sore wrists. Uh, 5,000 copies. Mm. And we've got a few million to go since they sold so many. Oh, and that's a promo as well. Obviously, I don't photocopy those because I don't want to ruin the, the record, obviously. Okay, this is the Japanese version of For All We Know. And just like the ABBA ones that I've shown you. Can you tell I edited some of that? Now, some Carpenter's covers were a bit um, yeah, that's the American copy for Rainy Days and Mondays. Yeah, the, the less said about that picture, the better, I think. Looks like it's a promo photo for a Saturday morning cartoon. The German pressing of Superstar and Bless the Beasts and Children. And does that look familiar? Yep. Yeah. Funnily enough, there only ever seems to be one 
photo from that session, that's probably the best photo they got because the rest of them they would have been grimacing because of how awful it was down there. Oh, and this next one is getting a bit funky. There we go. That's the American one of hurting each other. Where, if you listen to later mixes, Richard has fixed up the messy drums at the end. Yeah, th this is nice. How dare they sell out to hard rock with this song. Fuzz guitars. Or, well, who did they think they were? The Rolling Stones? Yeah. Naughty, naughty. And how dare they still smile on the front cover. They should look awful. But again, by the way, that's the American pressing. Quite a number of years ago, um, the only copy, copies of the Carpenter's uh, picture sleeves I could get were American. Uh, that's the thing, American, German and Japanese. Obviously, I'm not showing the Australian ones. Now, the next one. Sing. Striding towards the camera there. The the sheet music to this has the the same cover too, by the way. Just in case you are interested. This is the Dutch pressing for yesterday once more. So there's two picture sleeve ones I've got. There's this one, which is from Holland, and this one, which is the American pressing. So, a bit of difference. One's black and white, one's colour. Now, were the Carpenters a bit, of head, bit ahead of their time with something? Top of the world. Nice rainbow there. Yeah. Or, here we go. This could, this could end very badly. <laughs> there. There we are. There's Rainbow Bear holding top of the world. The Rainbow Bear is top of the world. Whee! And while the, the, the Japanese pressing has that, on the back has this on the front. So obviously a different picture there. And it's the same as the previous one. They have the lyrics inside. And it sounds like I'm eating a packet of chips, doesn't it? And it sounds like I'm eating a packet of chips, doesn't it? Hmm. I can't quite work out which one, what country this one comes from, but this one's the picture sleeve to Mr. Gouda. I mean, Jambalaya. Mr. Gouda, how's your head? I think Richard should have really done a retake of that. This, this is a weird one I got from the UK. Now, according to this, if I hold the record up to a light and look through it, the vinyl will be red. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I'm just... I guess I'll have to take their word for it. Maybe this will be one of those I actually will put on the scanner and just see what it looks like. Which is just as bad, isn't it? Now I've got the Dutch copy of Jambalaya on the bayou. I'm sorry, but that that is a very forced smile from Karen. Now, in all honesty, some of the Carpenters' uh, picture sleeve singles are quite dreadful. And for me, I reckon this is the worst. I think, enough said, eh? Oh, except that that's from the USA. Enough said, eh? And this is the Dutch pressing to I Won't Last a Day Without You. 
very sort of baby pink, isn't it? Obviously, pink was the go in 1974. And this is the, the Japanese pressing to please Mr. Postman. And uh, I love the via ear mail. That's, that's good. That's really good. And it's got the lyrics on the back. Interestingly enough, it doesn't have that sort of fold around cover with this. It's... And now... Let me get this right. Gee, the eyes are working today. And now we have the Dutch copy of Please Mr. Postman. It's kind of literally open up, doesn't it? Stop. Oh yes, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Way, yay, 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 Mr. Postman. Please, Mr. Postman, look and see. Ah, oh, yep, yep. <laughs> how to ruin your, how to ruin your Dutch postman, eh? This is a kind of iconic photo that Richard seems to have used a fair bit. For this, it seems to have been borrowed from the sort of rainy days and Mondays kind of design. So we've got rainy days and Mondays only yesterday. So yes, only yesterday there were rainy days and Mondays, which means that it would have been a Tuesday. And the Japanese pressing is exactly the same cover-wise. There we go. Now what I'll do is I'll finish with the 1975, last 1975 single, Solitaire. Now apparently Karen really hated this song. She never said why, but she really, really hated it, which is interesting. And uh, because I only bought the, was only able to find the, the picture sleeve to this, I um, had to put the Australian pressing of the single. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you will like and subscribe. I tend to be a bit self-conscious about saying that. I don't know why. Very, very strange. Anyway, I'll see, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. You cake take, you cake tear? Ooh! <laughs> Oh, that'd be a dreadful cake, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be some very bad chef doing that. Oh, look. Uh, how are you going to have it? Oh, I'm going to have a cake tear, thank you. <coughs> oh, wow. The consistency of cardboard, literally. All right. Anyway, you take care. While I part the curtains... Alright, you take care and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.